My name is Dragon. The Dragon. Welcome you visiting my channel Health Fitness 1047. Today, the Dragon wish you a happy day and a good day. And now, here is the official news follow up. One, Jennifer Lopez goes bra free in a flirty one shoulder shirt. After ex Ben Affleck could not keep his hands off her and kissed her at brunch, Jennifer Lopez shared a sultry selfie on Instagram late Monday night, showcasing her stunning look at 55. She rocked a bra free red one shoulder t shirt featuring a playful chocolate graphic, paired with light makeup and her hair styled up with charming curtain bangs framing her face. Gold hoop earrings added the perfect touch of glamour. This eye-catching post came just as her ex Diddy faced legal troubles in NYC that same day. Jennifer Lopez was spotted leaning against a Louis Vuitton suitcase in a sultry selfie. With her walk-in closet showcasing an array of purses behind her. This comes amid speculation about her relationship with ex-husband Ben Affleck. With reports suggesting that he couldn't keep his hands off her during a recent family brunch at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Despite filing for divorce last month, insiders claim Ben still has feelings for Jennifer, as they were seen holding hands and sharing kisses during the outing with their kids. The couple initially got engaged in the early 2000s, but their relationship ended before they could marry. They rekindled their romance in 2021 and tied the knot in 2022, only for Jennifer to file for divorce on their second wedding anniversary. Citing a lack of commitment from Ben, sources say that while Jennifer is heartbroken, she recognizes it's time to move on, especially for the sake of their children. She aims to maintain a friendly relationship with Ben for the kids' well-being, as they were spotted having a fun family lunch together. Despite the divorce proceedings, reports indicate that Jennifer is focusing on positivity in her life. 2. Savage Moment Italian Socialite, 65. Reeks fatal revenge on a Moroccan mugger who snatched her handbag by slamming into him with her car before repeatedly running him over a dramatic incident unfolded when Cinzia Dalpino, a 65-year-old businesswoman from Via Reggio, Italy, sought revenge on a mugger who snatched her handbag. After the man, Nordin Nazicki, 52, grabbed her bag from her car, Dalpino pursued him and rammed her car into him multiple times. Although she claimed she only intended to retrieve her belongings, which included important documents. Naziki later died from his injuries. Initially arrested for manslaughter, she was placed under house arrest. CCTV footage and witnesses drew mixed reactions. With local authorities and an archbishop condemning her actions as excessive. Naziki's family called for justice, stating he was a good man and demanding accountability. The incident sparked debate over self-defense and justice in the community. 3. Soldier's seven-year-old son is refused a passport because of his name a soldier and Star Wars fan, Christian Mowbray. Faced the possibility of canceling a long-awaited family holiday when his son's passport application was denied due to copyright issues related to his name, Loki Skywalker Mowbray. The home office informed him that he would need to change his son's name or obtain permission from Disney, which owns the Star Wars franchise. Loki was born on May 4, known as Star Wars Day, and his middle name was intended as a tribute to the franchise. Mowbray expressed frustration, stating they did not intend to use the name for commercial gain and were unaware of the potential issue. The family had been looking forward to their first holiday since 2014. But the denial caused significant stress. 
After media attention, the Home Office reversed its decision, processing the passport application and ultimately approving it. The Mowbrays can now enjoy their much-needed vacation in the Dominican Republic. The incident highlights the strict rules around passport names and other petty reasons that can disrupt travel plans for families. 4. His dad is an Academy Award winner known for his laid-back demeanor while his mom is a Brazilian model. Can you guess who this Nepo baby is? Levi McConaughey. The 16-year-old son of Academy Award-winning actor Matthew McConaughey and Brazilian model Camila Alves, has gained attention as a budding influencer with around 300,000 Instagram followers. Recently, he shared a photo of himself on a tennis court, resembling his father, who gained fame from his role in Dazed and Confused. Levi, born on May 4, Star Wars Day, is the eldest of three siblings including a sister and a brother. He made his Instagram debut on his 15th birthday, a gift from his parents, who had carefully considered when to allow him to join social media. Matthew expressed confidence in Levi's ability to handle the platform, while Camilla shared her nervousness about it. The family recently enjoyed time together, including outings to a fundraising gala and on-set lunches. Matthew has publicly celebrated Levi's interests and experiences, sharing a touching birthday message and encouraging followers to treat Levi with respect. The couple, who married in 2012, has embraced family life in Austin, Texas, reflecting their shared values and commitment to raising their children with strong principles. 5. Australian comedy duo announce shock end to their podcast after 14 years and reveal very messy friendship fallout the Australian comedy duo Tommy DeSalo and Carl Chandler, known for their popular podcast The Little Dum Dum Club, have publicly announced their split after 14 years of collaboration. DeSalo took to social media to share that their working relationship had deteriorated, leaving many commitments unfulfilled. He expressed disappointment and embarrassment over the situation, emphasizing that while there was no single person at fault, they could no longer work together. Chandler responded with his own post, hinting at underlying legal issues and describing the recent difficulties they faced behind the scenes. He acknowledged the challenges in their relationship and expressed his love for the show, vowing to release more content addressing the split. The fallout became apparent when they failed to release a new episode last week for the first time in 14 years. Both comedians apologized to fans for the unexpected turn of events, expressing gratitude for their support over the years. 6. Jemaine Jenis' wife Ellie breaks her social media silence as she returns to Instagram for the first time since Shamed Pundit was sacked by the BBC for sending inappropriate texts to other women. Jemaine Jenis, the former footballer and BBC pundit, has faced public scrutiny after his contract with the BBC was terminated due to inappropriate texts sent to female colleagues. Jenis admitted to sending explicit messages to two employees and is also accused of sending unsolicited photos to another woman during the 2022 World Cup. In the midst of this controversy, his wife, Ellie, returned to social media to announce the launch of her new grooming brand, Preppy Skin, aimed at kids and teens. She expressed excitement about the venture, which has been in development for three years. Sources close to Jenis stated that he is working hard to repair his marriage and support his children. He has publicly apologized for his actions, expressing shame and regret over the pain caused to his family and colleagues. Jenis insists that the texts were consensual and has criticized the BBC's handling of his dismissal, describing it as chaotic and poorly managed. He has acknowledged the emotional toll the situation has taken on him, including struggles with sleep and anxiety. Seven. 
Lucy Beaumont said her career was held back by predatory men on the comedy circuit as it's revealed she has received huge divorce payout from her ex-husband John Richardson Lucy Beaumont recently opened up about her career challenges. Citing predatory male behavior in the comedy industry as a significant obstacle. In comments resurfacing after her split from ex-husband John Richardson, she expressed concern over how such behavior affects women in comedy, stating that incidents of harassment are often unreported due to the lack of support systems like our. John Richardson agreed to pay Lucy £1.625 million for her shares in their co-owned company following their separation after nine years of marriage. The couple, who starred in the mockumentary series Meet the Richardsons, had built a joint fortune of around £6 million. Lucy's remarks highlighted a broader issue within the comedy circuit, where she identified up to 15 men engaging in inappropriate behavior. She lamented that while the comedy community is known for its gossip, accountability is often lacking. With many offenders remaining unchallenged. Despite these challenges, Lucy has enjoyed a successful career, recently receiving a BAFTA nomination for her performance in Meet the Richardsons. She is set to embark on a nationwide tour from October to December and continues to make strides in her stand-up career and other projects including her show Hallraisers and her book Drinking Custard, Diary of a Confused Mum, 8. Why Liam Hemsworth is Miley Cyrus' biggest fear in copyright lawsuit after she is sued for allegedly ripping a Bruno Mars hit for her Grammy-winning song Flowers it seems that Miley Cyrus is facing a copyright infringement lawsuit concerning her 2023 hit track Flowers with allegations that it closely mirrors Bruno Mars' 2012 song When I Was Your Man. While Miley is reportedly not too worried about the legal aspect of the lawsuit, insiders claim that she's more uneasy about being forced to publicly confirm that Flowers was inspired by her ex-husband, Liam Hemsworth. Fans have long speculated that Flowers was a direct response to Liam and their tumultuous relationship with references in the lyrics and music video pointing to personal moments. Like their Malibu home burning down and a red carpet incident, the song is seen as a message of self-love and healing after their split. The lawsuit was filed by Tempo Music Investments, not Bruno Mars himself, after they acquired rights to a portion of his catalog. They allege that Miley's track shares similar melodies, harmonies, and chord progressions to When I Was Your Man. If the lawsuit proceeds, Miley may have to address these claims and possibly reveal more personal details about her inspiration behind the song.